Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Pretzwell and welcome to the sixth Ministry of Testing Athens sponsor podcast. In this podcast series, we will introduce the 20 sponsors of the meetup so you can learn a bit more about them. Ministry of Testing Athens has a massive following of over 1,500 members with a great range of speakers from all over the world. Today, I am joined by Cleo and Liana from SWORD. Hi, both. Hi, Hannah. Hello, Hannah. This is a... Thank you for hosting us today. (laughs) Yes, no problem. Thank you for for coming along. It's very exciting because... Sword are new sponsors to Ministry of Testing Athens as well. So very excited to get the word out for, for this company. So yeah, can you tell me a little bit more about Sword? Sure. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, the story of uh, Sword Group uh, starts 20 years ago. Uh, it has been established as a world-leading IT and digital transformation partner that helps streamline, improve quality, and reduce costs of businesses worldwide. SWORD has presence in 50 countries, uh, providing service to more than 1,000 customers, and it has more than 2,000 employees. Uh, Now, uh, our story at SWORD Services Greece uh, begins uh, in 2016 as a subsidiary of the Belgium Luxembourg entity, And although it began with a very small team of approximately 15 dedicated and committed individuals who most of them are still with us today, uh, we can proudly say that we have, that we are now 250 and counting and we offer transformative uh, customer centric IT services for the European Union institutions, uh, EU agencies and international organizations. Um, Our high quality services are also established uh, via our certifications in ISO 9001, uh, 27001 and 20000 and our EU secret and NATO secret security clearance. Uh, Our corporate target is to deliver high quality services on any complex and critical project within time and budget. And recently, we have also included another field uh, uh, of operations in the telecommunications area uh, in Greece as part of our growth strategy. And um, what else? In conclusion, let's say that uh, our company structure consists of uh, software development and architecture, department, division, uh, the quality assurance and testing, uh, business analysis, IT services uh, management and project management. Oh, well, sounds like sounds really interesting. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about who your customers are? Yes, of course. So, short group at the global level um, has some really uh, high reputation customers like Shell, uh, BP, Rolls Royce, NASA, the U.S. Air Force, major private banks. European Investment Bank and the European Union institutions, and in particular, uh, the Greek company, Short Greece, uh, has a large portfolio of clients. Uh, Some indicative of them are the Directorate um, General for Taxation and Customs Union, the World Intellectual Property Organization, European Patent Office, UEFA, UNICEF, uh, European Insurance, an Occupational Persons Authority, Eurostat, EU LISA, European Securities and uh, Market Authority, European Asylum, Support Office, and um, European Union Intellectual Property Office. So we have a a really large number uh, of uh, international and European institutions in our range. Yeah, there's some big names there. That sounds very exciting to work with. Um, So how big is the testing team at your company? Right. So some details uh, regarding the testing departments. Basically, Short Service Greece is organized in two business units. Therefore, we have two software quality assurance and testing division uh, and testing divisions. And in addition, there's also a testing within the IT services uh, management department. So all of those uh, divisions serve uh, different projects within the customer portfolio uh, I just mentioned. Uh, So in total, uh, we are currently 46 testers 
working in implementation uh, teams that develop solutions and support the whole spectrum of the software testing lifecycle. And uh, we expect uh, that the testing departments will uh, continue to grow as we receive more and more uh, business opportunities and requests uh, for our customers to build solutions. Uh, yeah, great. Um, I was wondering if you could expand a little bit on the company's plans for the growth and development for the testing team. Yes, of course. So um, we all know that uh, the technological field in software engineering is changing rapidly and we want to make sure that we follow and adopt as much as possible, you know, new methodologies, skills, tools, frameworks. Um, it's a really challenging field that uh, we have to compete in. So uh, all those uh, uh, we need to keep up in order to feed for our business purposes uh, and not only serve, but accelerate our customer needs, right? So uh, within those aspects, um, reinforcement of test automation by Gradual transition from manual to automation testing uh, is one of our plans um, for some of the existing team members uh, and by new additions to the team. Um, it's important to mention that there are, there are areas out there that we won't expand our testing capabilities, uh, areas that are in the forefront of the technology, for example, uh, the agile testing, uh, as far as concerns methodologies, um, accessibility testing, performance and optimization, uh, security, penetration, really, really hot areas. So to this direction, uh, we are planning to, uh, you know, continuously supporting our members with trainings, uh, learning sessions, uh, but also acquire engineering expertise that uh, will help us uh, design appropriately our goals, right? Also, uh, our opening today, uh, starting with this po podcast to the testing community, um, it is so important for us, for all the reasons I mentioned. We look to uh, learn, receive, and uh, give back to the testing community. And we're really excited about that. So, to conclude in a nutshell, we want to remain in the forefront of the technology by applying quality assurance and testing techniques within the modern uh, agile software lifecycle. Yeah, that sounds, sounds really good. Um, so I guess sort of continuing on from that, what's it like to be a tester at your company? Yeah, of course. So uh, testers in a, in a company, and this is really important for me to, to highlight, uh, testers are not working uh, as an individual team. Uh, they are part of a wider project team comprising of software architects, developers, um, business analysts, right? So in the first place, we're emphasizing that testers have proper understanding of the software solution and services to be designed, uh, the processes uh, that we're going to use, methodologies, uh, and the technologies uh, that uh, are planned uh, for the services. And in this context, um, uh, the testers uh, apply testing activities within the whole software development life cycle, uh, from planning, um, test analysis and design, test automation implementation, test execution and reporting. Um, as we're talking, of course, about uh, European international institutions, um, uh, testers are also participating in the UAT activities and they provide customer support and maintenance support as well. So uh, we're working continuously in exercising techniques and tools that um, uh, shift, uh, or at least trying to shift testing to the left. Um, uh, we try to test as uh, faster and as early as possible in the build and deployment, deployment process in order to deliver uh, high quality solutions to, uh, to our clients. And to this direction, we're trying to focus uh, in development expertise on new technologies, um, support members with trainings and learning sessions within the teams, 
learn sessions can be internally, uh, you know, acquire a session from uh, architecture or from the DevOps department, which uh, are really important nowadays. Um, so, um, in order to, to conclude, we emphasize that, uh, and this is something we want to, uh, you know, um, as a, as a culture, uh, that testing is a responsibility for everyone involved in the software development lifecycle. Uh, therefore, close collaboration with the developers, with the analysts, uh, with the DevOps is essential. Uh, we focus to learn from each other and help each other in releasing quality software to our customers. I mean, yeah, that all sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, so I think you've already kind of outlined that some great reasons to work for SWORD is um, you get to work on, you know, really interesting projects, works with some really interesting companies. Um, also, the technology is all kind of up to date, quite modern, and um, you're looking to sort of really try and improve and continuously learning. Um, do you have any other kind of... I guess reasons why someone should work at Sword. Well, uh, Hannah, you made a great sum up of what we have just said. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, you will be one of our ambassadors. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I would like to say that we want and we search uh, for people who actually want to work for us. Uh, and uh, we consider our people as members of our constant success. And that is why we have organized our company in a way where people are at the center of our activities. Our company is the ideal place for people who want to grow in a robust and safe environment, looking to expand and improve both their technical and their soft skills. And our goal is to provide to everyone a great employee experience. Therefore, our people uh, have the unique opportunity to work in the implementation of large and critical systems for public and private organizations. And most of these are extremely visible projects with high impact in the everyday life of the European citizens. And if, if you think about it, it is really awesome. Uh, also, from a technical perspective, uh, they all have the opportunity to work in several projects under a wide uh, technology stack, meaning that they will have a fast learning curve and they will expand their skill set. Uh, it is also important to say that uh, we as a company see our future in technologies such as AI, Internet of Things and blockchain. So it is not only very interesting, but it's also very challenging for anyone who wants to develop and grow fast uh, in his or her career. And last but not least, uh, I would like to say a few things about our everyday working environment uh, where we have built a, a, a clearly defined set of culture and values. And the main components uh, of our culture is curiosity, initiative and engagement. And our values, which are part of our everyday behavior, is respect, involvement and rigorousness. We value open and clear communication and transparency in our everyday interactions. And uh, as a conclusion, I would say that we all act as one team and we want everyone to feel that they are part of a big family that grows and succeeds. And Liana, correct me if I'm wrong in what I'm saying. Don't we act as a one team? Yeah, I, th I think this is one of our, you know, strongest motto um, and what we want to, to deliver uh, as a message. Uh, it's uh, one team is what we are focusing and we're trying to focus uh, more and more. Um, working together as a team uh, that uh, serves, uh, the, you know, projects that have high impact in, in everyday life of uh, European and world citizens and have added value uh, in our our day to day is our, our vision and uh, what we're uh, we want to pass as a message uh, today to you and to the community. Oh, fantastic. It's, um, yeah, very inspiring, I have to say. Um, so I guess, is there anything else that you'd, you'd like to sort of tell the audience about your company before we sort of finish up? 
Uh, well, uh, the last thing we could say is that uh, at Sword Services uh, in Greece, uh, we believe in innovation. And we believe that innovation is about challenging ideas and discovering new ways of doing business. Therefore, we are looking for people whose ideas and vision can save our companies tomorrow's success. And we search for people who want to grow with us and are passionate about delivering excellence, people who want to be part of a friendly and supportive environment and who want to be part uh, in a team of like-minded colleagues. Imagine that every month we hire an approximately 10 new people uh, who decide to join our company and begin their adventure with us. So we urge everyone uh, to find out more about Sword Services Greece, follow us on social media, approach us to discuss about their next career opportunity and future within our company. Hey, wonderful. If I may add, um, yeah. um, yes, I, I agree with, uh, with Cleo. Um, we believe in innovation. Uh, we believe, as I said, in, in one team. This is, this is our vision. And um, everyone, now that we're talking about, um, uh, you know, university graduates or entry-level uh, engineers, everyone that is uh, willing and excited in working in uh, large projects that have high visibility and impact uh, in, in everyday lives of world citizens. Uh, this is a, a robust and safe environment to, to thrive, to grow, to develop your skills. So we're looking forward uh, to uh, have people in this mindset close to us. So uh, don't hesitate to, to reach us and contact us for business opportunities and career development uh, path that uh, we're willing to build together with you. Oh, fantastic. It all sounds very, very exciting. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, uh, Cleo and Liana, for joining us today from SWORD. Um, thank you for inviting us. <laughs> It was really lovely. Um, thank you. Thank you. That was an, uh, uh, I really enjoyed this uh, podcast. Uh, I was so excited that we organized this and we're looking forward to uh, share more with the testing community, uh, not only in Athens, but uh, also in other uh, meetups uh, and ministers. Yeah, we will well. we'll for sure build a closer collaboration now. Yeah, this is Great. just the beginning for us. <laughs> Awesome. So yeah, there'll be some links posted underneath the video as well if you want to know a bit more. And thank you all very much for watching. Thank you. Okay.